now let's come down I will start from this side because uh, my old images and videos are not in one row or not aligned uh, in a time frame so these are the button where they play their role now sometimes people ask how I can arrange them in front of each other the manual way is you click them like this and uh, bring them in front like this this is how you brought them in front of each other but if you use this button these are the shortcuts to do that for example my videos were like this like this everything and I want every everything to be in front of each other I mean when one video ends, the other video starts then other image then another image for that we will select all of them you can select like this when you click and drag to select all or you can click one by one by holding the control I mean click one and then click control key uh, press and hold the control and then click all of them one by one now you see all are selected now uh, this is the button set blocks order it will uh, arrange all blocks in front of each other if you click once you will see the magic here you see one video ends the other video starts then the other image the end of the other image now if you want you can uh, make them like this so to reduce the number of layers so this is how you arrange them what is this thing this is to set the order for example you want this image to be on the second number and this video at the end for that again we will select all of them now click on set order with offset now here you see your videos and images for example the second video I said I want to make it at the end and you can click it twice down event at the end see now I will click ok you see the second video I'll move to the end so this is the use of this now these are the things to move the blocks where your cursor is for example I have uh, images like this for example I placed one video now at the end I want to bring the other video instead of hold and drag it here you can uh, simply do one thing put your mouse here make sure it's at the end of uh, after the video if you will keep the cursor on the video then I will tell you what will happen so for the beginning uh, I will show you a simple way go at the end of the video after the video it should not be over the video let me show you what I mean this you see here video ends it should be at least here after video so I will uh, zoom back now I want to move this video on the second where my cursor is so I will have my cursor here click the video that I want to move where my cursor is then I will click this this button means move blocks to cursor position if you click this the video will the starting point of video will be where the cursor is look like this you see but if I click this one it means uh, this uh, button means the video end point will be here I mean video will end here for example because video length is longer I have to move cursor here to show you now my video was here for example my cursor is here if I click uh, I click the video that I want to move and click this one and now you see the video end point is where the cursor is so this is the difference uh, between this one and this one when you do video editing you will see more difference uh, which one you want to use which one you don't want to use now <coughs> this is about a work area work area is also very important what is work area this is uh, if you see this thing this is called uh, also work area 
if your cursor is here how to use work area and uh, how you can use work area to cut and split the videos and uh, remove the a uh, some part of the video that i will show you later but just to show you the use of button i will show you if you click this one move work area to cursor position it will move you see that work area moved here if you click this one the end point uh, welcome where the cursor position is now this is same for the work area first uh, button is set the work area size to fit the selected object for example right now work area you can see is only up to this point from here to here but i want to make the work area to cover my first video this video because i want to work on this video so i will click on the video then i will click this now you can see the work area is covering my whole video now within the video if i want to make this is the first point of uh, the work area it is uh, called begin work area so i want to move this point here instead of uh, grabbing and holding because if you will grab it and move it then the cursor position will change i don't want to change the cursor position so i will keep my cursor here and click this button the start will be here and uh, after playing video for example i played the video so just before you went and up to this point i want to move the end point of work area so i will click this one so this is work area while we use this one i will show you later this is important to do uh, the cutting part of the video for example sometime some area of the video you don't want the manual way we do we cut the beginning and the ending and we remove the middle part but i will show you how you can use work area directly to remove that part then these are the buttons to move your cursor move cursor to next keyframe move cursor to next second move cursor to next frame and the same is this move cursor to previous frame previous second or previous keyframe and this middle one is to set the cursor position I mean if you want to go directly to a specific point you want your cursor to go directly for example this is eight second right I want my cursor to be here directly instead of I click here sometime you cannot get it on the right point you keep clicking clicking so going directly is you click on this one set the cursor position and they will ask you where you want to go so I will click here eight second and now you can see my cursor is there you can also use keyframes like this here but I work with the second so if I want to go to 10 seconds I will put 10 seconds now you see my cursor is at 10 seconds point now this is uh, if you want to see keyframes or seconds because I work with seconds so I keep with the seconds but if you uncheck it now you can see the keyframes but I like to keep it the uh, seconds now this point is for the audio for the preview one this audio volume if you change it doesn't affect your final video I mean it will not come up the result in the final video this is just for your preview if you're watching uh, your preview video want to change the volume for example I play it I don't like the volume you see so there's the difference you can if you click this one you can mute it unmute it you can change the volume now these are the points if you see this one it says loop playing it will uh, the same thing is with window media player or VLC media player where we play music or uh, videos if we click uh, repeat button the music will keep repeating once the music ends it will start from the beginning again so this is a loop if you click definitely this one for example let me show you I will go inside the video so my no uh, no wait let me show you in another scene again this is my video if I play the video it will stop at the end of the video so just before you went into the hospital you see the cursor stopped but if I loop it, now you play, you will see. 
hospital just before you went into the hospital. Okay. You see, let's start it again. So just before you went into the hospital. Okay. Now what is this one? This is a return cursor to begin. For example, if I haven't clicked the loop button and uh, I played the video and, and I want the cursor to be at the start of the video again, then we will click this one. Because normally when we play the video, you will see a cursor stops at the end. Here. But I want it to come at the start again because I want to review the video again and again. Then we click this one. So you will see in this one, the video doesn't loop. It doesn't re repeat again and again, but the cursor comes to the beginning. You will see. So just before you went to the hospital. You see, the cursor came to the beginning. Another use of this, it is if you play in the middle of the video, for example, if I play from uh, this point, and after playing a little bit, if I stop playing or pause it, it will come back to the same point from where I played the video. This we use, for example, if I ap apply the editing at 3 seconds, and I just want to check this point again and again, then this button is used there to bring the cursor back from the same point where we started now this is called playing within work area that we use when i don't want to play whole video and i want to loop only a part this happens when you're doing uh, audio editing or audio synchronization when you have apply an effect on the beat and you want to see if it is matching or not then we up for example I will move my work area now here is where I apply my editing so I will click on this one play work area only if I only click this one it will play once only this work area it will not go further than this the cursor will stop at the end of the work area like this you see cursor stop but if I play I, I click uh, play work area only and also the loop it will keep playing within the work area now you can see now let's come on the left side these are for zooming options there are two different zooming options one is this one and one is on the bar the one the one we have here on the left side this is for timeline this is called your timeline this zooming is for the timeline for example if you click the plus area you see the timeline increases in lengthwise uh, horizontally it, it zooms in now you can see and if you click minus it zooms out you can also click and drag like this as much as you want this this is especially worked uh, or used when we have multiple videos for example i moved it here and i'm i moved at the end of the video i'm not sure if it is at the end or not because here uh, my video length is short so you can easily see when you have a longer video it's hard to see we make it long then you will see what I mean I will make this image length longer I will make uh, 20 second okay I don't want to say right now okay now you see my video length is totally plus 36 second and now you it's hard to differentiate here if this video is right at the end or now then you click your cursor that is important you have to have your cursor where you want to zoom in if my cursor is here and I zoom in it will zoom in here you will see right and if I want to zoom in here you have to click your cursor here and then zoom in look now you can see how much difference is in them so you can move it here now to go back to normal size you can click on 100 it will show you the normal scale that timeline has so it is back to normal uh, scale 
this one I showed you in the beginning this one is for your preview window if you want to make this window bigger or smaller like this right and this is to make it a normal uh, to fit the window like this now what is left is uh, layers uh, option these things uh, only I will tell you here for what is layers layer is whenever you add uh, a video it normally added in one layer and whether in the same or they add a new layer this we will uh, learn during the editing then you will understand better way layer is uh, same what it means layers so as many layers as you want you can create uh, I don't know how to explain you better way because you can only understand when we do editing then you will know so now we will start uh, doing the editing and I will show you how to cut split and do the other parts uh, in editing so easily